Do you remember why the fans fell in love with Saul Alvarez? A brash Mexican boy with an unusual appearance and super aggressive but technical style that sooner or later developed knockouts. But the knockout wasn't always scored with one punch. Canelo had quite a few fights where he beat his opponent down to a pulp and the referee had to drag a tortured mummy out of the ring. However, the great Mexican also had finishes after which the opponents could hardly come back to their senses laying face down on the canvas. Friends, today's video is dedicated to the best one-punch knockouts in the career of Sol Alvarez. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go! Number 1. Jefferson Luis Gonzalo 27 victories in the ring as a professional boxer. Canelo achieved such a result before turning 19. For the vast majority of people, it takes many years to do that, while Saul had his debut at 15 and 4 years later realized himself as an athlete. Not bad, right? On the other hand, despite such a bloated record, he hadn't fought for the titles of the major organizations yet and in 2009 was having his third title defense of a completely irrelevant NABF championship against not just somebody, but Luis Gonzalo from Brazil. Don't you know? Anyway, let's get to the fight. Not a standard fight for a young Canelo, as it wasn't him who applied pressure, but vice versa. To be exact, for the first minute the Mexican tried to work as the first number, but the Brazilian's desire to go forward was so strong that Sol decided not to stop him and took a step back. To dismantle the opponent while retreating, Alvarez utilized precise jabs and also initiated combinations of two or three shots with a bound switch to the body as breaking the opponent's liver for that guy is a must. There were also rounds when it was hard for Sol because the tough guy across from him was not only taking shots but also exploding himself with a decent speed. By the ninth round it was clear Canelo was winning on the scorecards but suddenly an accumulated damage caught up to Gonzalo and another missed shot got him wobbled. Sol did not waste such a unique opportunity and unloaded all of his weapons. In the firestorm of strikes, he found a perfect moment and grinded his opponent into dust. Number 2. Marat Kuziv The norm for young Canelo was to have at least 7 or even more fights a year. Unworn body allowed him to keep such a pace and the level of opponents was not that high for him to have a long preparation. Two months after knocking out Luis Gonzalo, Alvarez got a chance to fight for the vacant WBC youth welterweight title against the Russian slaughter lamb Marat Kuziv. For some, it may seem that a guy with an 18 4 record cannot be called an expendable. However, before that, Canelo was running through such guys like it was nothing. This short fight vividly shows that an inexperienced classic boxer would never be able to beat the same opponent who possesses a unique style. It seemed like Marat was doing good, held his hands high, bobbed the body and worked with straight shots while Canelo barely defended his head and his strikes were thrown from below with a weird trajectory. But it was working. Maybe not all, but most of the punches from the Mexican were reaching the target while his power was also incomparable with the Russian's pokes. Already in the second round, Saul stunned his opponent and at a certain moment he broke loose. He rushed at the guy with the fury of a hound and shut his brain down with one shot. Number 3. Carlos Leonardo Herrera if somebody asked you which was the most fruitful year for Saul, what would be your answer? 
Some will say 2019, referring to his victory in the rematch with Golovkin. Others, 2021, when Saul became the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. All of them would be wrong, as 2009 is in the lead when a young monster from Guadalajara scored three clean KOs. We already talked about two of them, so now it's time to review another one that happened in the rivalry with Carlos Herrera. Two massive and tough guys began to move with high speed from the very first seconds and Sol intentionally gave the initiative to his opponent. Carlos worked with his lead hand, trying to keep a convenient distance with the Mexican prodigy, while Alvarez didn't force things and waited for his rival to make a mistake. Closer to the end of the round, the future champ landed a flush punch to the body, which made the Argentinian go forward even faster, and then he crouched to land and throw a body shot. But it was a mistake. Canelo immediately read his opponent's move and momentarily countered him with a crushing straight right. Before Carlos' body touched the canvas, Saw put his hands down knowing that it was the end. And that's exactly what it was. Number 4. Brian Kamechis for 2009, Saul earned six stoppage wins in total. However, as weird as it may sound, his last fight in this year went to a decision. For the next 12 months, the Mexican had a bit less fights than usual, only five, but the names were a lot bigger, taking at least the guy that Alvarez faced on March the 6th. I'm talking about Brian Kamechis, who before meeting Saul was on a streak of 17 wins. It's funny that both fighters had their hands low, but the only one who was eating shots was Brian. Saul worked with his sharp lead hand and also exploded with the right, making the golden Greek wobble. As he felt the danger coming from the opponent, Brian tried to spare his stamina, but in the second round, he missed the one-two that knocked him down. As Kamechis cranked up, he got back to his feet where he immediately began to collect heavy shots, then fell out of the position while throwing a jab and got blasted with a right straight. Canelo was tearing the guy to pieces up until the very last second, and when the bell finally rang, a bloodied and mentally broken Kamichis went to his corner. In the third round, a left check hook finally ended his suffering and put a definitive exclamation mark in this fight. Number 5. Manuel Baldomir Careers of most young and talented boxers reach a certain point when they need to destroy a couple of veterans to put their name on the map and get bigger fights in the future. Saul got to this exact stage in 2010, and the biggest test in his life happened to be Arturo Gatti's executioner, Carlos Manuel Baldomir, who once held WBC and IBA titles. Now they were supposed to identify the WBC silver champion. For you to understand how big the difference in experience was, the veteran began to compete in professionals when Saul was three years old. I can't be 100% certain whether it was about experience or fighting style, but the fact is that Canelo missed a lot. Three out of four power punches did not reach a seemingly clumsy, but still very stylistically inconvenient Carlos. In the second round, Saul managed to land a precise right straight, but that punch was a drop in the ocean. I can't say that the veteran was inflicting terrible damage or that his strikes were very powerful. No, but he landed more frequently and looked confident. Baldomir was even more successful with the shots to the body, though they were a specialty of Sol. Due to a big percentage of misses from both sides, the dynamics of the fight was not that high and the first number rolls were switching from round to round. In the fourth one, exchanges began to occur more often and Alvarez was better in them. But the veteran did not back down and started to outstrike his opponent. In the next three minutes, the situation stayed the same, but suddenly the Mexican landed a very hard shot that changed everything. And now a left hook to the jaw. Tata got a bit wobbly and began to miss one shot after another. He tried to recover in the clinch, but was pushed back, and in the very last seconds, 
Saul's left hook sent him to Valhalla. Might be ready to go. He might, and he's gone. Canelo. At least the veteran fell like a true warrior. Number six, James Kirkland. After losing to Maestro Floyd, Canelo thought that it's time to come back to the roots, namely fighting the no names or veterans and at the catch weight, which was beneficial only for the Mexican. As he beat his countrymen and almost got put away by an experienced Cuban counterpuncher, Erislandi Lara, Saw accepted the fight with James Kirkland, a veteran with more than 30 fights who also never touched the gold of major organizations. During the first minute, Kirkland put on a hugging contest and looked rather good. However, the annoying referee made him separate from Canelo and box. Southpaw James decided to brawl with the young prodigy, and as we know from the bitter experience of a couple of tens of boxers, it doesn't lead to anything good. Saul bombed the opponent's face, knocking him down and almost finishing him in the first round. In the second one, Alvarez wanted to finish and in 40 seconds he went so hard that perhaps he could have cut a tree. But not this tough guy. Kirkland withstood all the damage and began to press his exhausted vis-a-vis -vis to the ropes himself, trying to destroy him with short punches. It's worth mentioning that the Mexican had an amazing defense in the phone booth and landed precise counter shots. In the third round, the commentators joked about this fight not having any chances to make it to a decision. And a few seconds later, Saw scored a knockdown from an uppercut. And coming back. And tell him to there he is. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down, second knockdown of the fight. James's mind was put on the alert again, but Canelo couldn't be stopped. He approached his prey in Mike Mayer style and decapitated it with one shot. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand. Number seven. Amir Khan. Right after knocking out Kirkland, Saul conquered the middleweight championship, beating not just somebody, but legendary Miguel Cotto, though he was not in his prime condition. The next in line happened to be another guy who had all the chances to achieve a legendary status, but destiny decided everything for himself. Of course, I'm talking about Amir Khan. By 2011, one of the most promising boxers of his generation gained a solid traction. However, at first he lost the fight via split decision and then got knocked out. After that, Khan hopped on a five-fight winning streak and then decided to snatch Seoul's belt. I can definitely believe that in the world where Amir Khan has a good chin, he could still be at the top, but the reality is cruel, goddammit. A silver Olympic medalist was making a real laughing stock out of the most powerful puncher throughout five and a half rounds, outpacing and battering him with one twos. Khan's footwork allowed him to keep a safe distance, but in the sixth round he got carried away and was immediately smashed with a monstrous strike. Right hand separated the former champion from consciousness. Number eight. Liam Smith Amir's body was taken out of the arena on May the 7th and already in September, irrepressible Saul found himself a new victim named Liam Smith. The fight with Beefy was good for Alvarez from only one standpoint, to conquer the WBO belt while stylistically, the Brit with an unblemished record of 23-0 could give a terrifying Canelo some problems, but Saul could achieve greatness only in the clashes with such opponents. Liam showcased a truly amazing performance. No man ever succeeded in outstriking Canelo in a head-on collision before, but Smith dominated the first half of the fight. His defense constantly switched and adjusted. The Brit's body moved, not letting his head stay in one place, while his left hook and frequent jabs continuously bothered the Mexican. No matter how hard Alvarez tried and landed, he couldn't pierce through this defense, and when he was going off, got immediately punished with heavy combinations to the face and then retreated to the ropes. Smith's tactic looked almost perfect, but Saul found what to capitalize on, exposed body. In the start of the fight, the champion was shooting jabs to the liver, then took a break and in the seventh round, he switched his attention to the upper level again and instantly scored a knockdown. Oh, and a big body shot, and down goes Liam Smith for the first time in his professional
exceptional career! In the eighth, Liam was winning, but then went down again, and in the ninth one, Saul landed an ultimate shot to the body. A scary left punch pierced through Smith's liver. It's a clean KO. Oh, and there it is! A third time! Will it be a charm? Number 9. Sergei Kovalev. In 2016, an undefeated light heavyweight champion in three organizations, Sergei Kovalev was attending the fight of Sol Alvarez and most likely didn't even know what awaits him in the future. Just a few months later, he would be robbed in the fight with Andre Ward and then the Son of God won with no controversy, knocking the opponent out. After that, a former champion suffered another loss but managed to retrieve the WBO belt. Soon, he would have to defend it against Sol Alvarez, who decided to extend the list of conquered weight classes. The Crusher was very focused on using his advantage in height and keep a needed distance with such a dangerous opponent, that's why he utilized jab and movement. And while Canelo was doing nothing, Sergey was winning the fight. But as soon as the Mexican was turning on, Kovalev's activity wasn't enough and he was losing the exchanges at the mid-range, though he had no less power in his hands. Throughout his entire career, the Russian didn't know that one can win by decision, but here he resorted to cautious mode and that played a bad joke on him. Agile Canelo was successfully getting to the distance by the minute, landing on the veteran the best shots he had. Sergei was eating the punches but didn't receive much damage, at least it seemed like it. After the 10th round, chances that we would see a decision got very big. However, the Mexicans surprised everybody, especially Kovalev. Kovalev's not even committing to the chair. Hold on, sir! Hold on, down! Hold on, down! It's over! At the end of the 11th round, Saul landed a left, but this time the champion's chin gave up. He got stunned. Saul, who went through tens of wars, knew what to do in such a situation, so he unloaded with a right shot right on time. Jesus, Kovalev is laying on the ropes. It's a stiff KO. And that's it. Did you enjoy the video? Then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Which of Canelo's knockouts do you think is the most vicious one? Leave your opinion in the comments below.